What's up, y'all? Got a film of the fee, so let's get into this tea. Now, I wasn't going to react to this because she was starting off very, very slow. Uh, her name is Isis. But um, everybody's talking about it right now, and I'm going to just speed her up, see how I can get into this. Be to maybe do, like, some kind of newborn favorites or meet my new baby. I'm starting from here. She wasn't saying much in the beginning. It was just very, very, very... Very slow. Or something like that, but um, unfortunately... Um, Basically, she was speaking about how she hasn't uploaded in a while, and now she's saying why. It's been a little over a month since I um, had to end up leaving my husband. Um, <sighs> I honestly don't even really know where to start with this um just because it's just such a hard topic and i honestly thought that by the time i got on here that i wouldn't have any tears left because i've just and i definitely sped it up cried so much um it's like i built this channel and this whole brand around being this man's wife and trying to teach other women how to attract good men and provide men and all these different things. And um, I truly held my husband or saw him as the bar um, for what every woman should, you know, type of man that or type of husband that every woman should aspire to have. And um, I didn't realize that the person I married was actually going to be my biggest nightmare. Mm. So basically, um, when I first met my husband, um, as I've already talked about in another video, um, I think it was my single mom video, I, I explained you know, a little bit about how we met and um, I really thought that that man was my Prince Charming. Um, um, so when I first met my husband, um, I thought that he was my Prince Charming. I thought that he was my knight in shining armor and you know, he portrayed himself to be this amazing, upright, righteous Christian man um, and I believed him <sighs> um, I think shortly after we got married and this is something that I haven't talked about um, I started noticing like certain things changed with him and um, I just started to see a few things that I didn't like, but I honestly thought that some of these were things that I could get past. Um, it was like sad to even say like I could get past some of these things. Um, I don't even know what where to start. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the point with her. I, I can't say much yet. <sighs> um, six weeks ago, I was um, changing my daughter, my four year old daughter, and um, I noticed that. Um, when I changed her, she was red and very sensitive. And um, immediately, my first thought was, did someone touch her? Oh God. I hope she gonna be safe after this, cause 
Oh, yeah. Um. So I asked her, I said, baby, did somebody touch you? And she ended up saying it was dad. Mm. I felt like my world ended on that day. <sighs> my husband wasn't home at the time when she told me. I would not call that nigga my husband. I don't see how y'all do that. Oh, a different type of anger would be, would have come. Oh my God. You just don't know what you would do. But, oh. But what I, I would want to do, you know? He would be coming home soon, so all I could do was just say, don't tell him that you told me. And I just instantly started trying to think of how I could get my kids out of the house. Because I knew if I confronted him or asked him about it, that he would just lie. And that he would probably just continue to keep doing stuff to her, but just become more covert or more sneaky or... Or whatever. As soon as my husband got home, I, he was actually picking up the boys from school, my two older boys from school. As soon as he got home, I told him that I was gonna go Halloween shopping with my sister um, because I just needed an excuse to get out of the house with all the kids. And I knew if I said something like, oh, I'm going to the grocery store that, um, it would be suspicious, like, why am I bringing all the kids and, like, packing things, like, things that we would need and things like that. So going Halloween shopping was the best thing I could think of to just hurry up and get the kids out of the house. I'm sorry, I had to get myself together. Girl, I can only um, imagine. So when I got to the hospital, um, they basically told me that we had to go to another hospital because they didn't do physical exams like that kind of phys physical exam there. Um, so um, a police officer escorted um, the kids and I to another hospital where they were able to evaluate um, my daughters. Um, it ended up coming out that um, he had actually been um, touching both of my daughters. Oh. Um, who are only two and four years old. Ah, oh, Don't piss me off. <sighs> um, it still feels like a dream. Like, um, when... When this first happened, I just kept waking up every day and just hoping that this was a dream. Um, because it's literally my worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. I myself am a product of RAPE. Uh, that's how I came to be. And uh, was what? also am a product of RAPE. Uh, that's how I came to be. And uh, how ironic. How ironic that we was just talking about this last week. And she actually was a product of it. I talk about what ifs because what if things happen, bro. And people have stories about it. And I take heed to them because a, it creates fear for you, but it also creates a form of 
caution and 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 it's almost like a a, a warning sign, you know. Oh my god, this is terrible. Was also, you know, abused as a child uh, by a neighbor's husband. Oh. Uh. And um, I specifically prayed to God that my children would never, ever, ever have to go through this. And I'm just not quite sure how this happened, why this happened. I just don't know how he was able to get away with it and so sneaky because with my own trauma, I watched my kids. I watched my kids like a hawk. Like, I don't like them sitting on people's laps. Man, me. None of that. And he knows, he knows how much I cannot stand men like him. And to think like I couldn't even go to sleep in my own house and know that my children are safe. Mm. Just by me going to sleep, my children were left unprotected. Mm. What the hell are you supposed to do? I ain't even sleep. Thank you. Um, so I don't know what the future of this channel is going to be. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to change the name or what. Um, yeah. Damn. I hate I watched it. She was so sad, but she was talking so slow, and I just was like, what is it? And, um... Mm. The thought of a, a person being able to just take a person's innocence just really bothers me. Then you are a victim to it, and then you do it to other people. Ugh. It's, I, I hate that this topic is coming up much more fluently now. Don't get me wrong, it needs to be discussed um, because some of us are out here dealing with some traumas that we don't speak about and going through certain triggers because we don't speak about it, not knowing that it's a trigger, not understanding the trigger, you know, and not even realizing it's because of something that you haven't spoke about. And then you feel like people don't care because people don't. And then it's like, what can you do? You still got to live in this terrible place and you still have to, relive or think about that terrible thing that happened to you and I really don't know what to say whatever I say definitely ain't gonna fix her situation and I just genuinely wish she never dealt with that she her channel is based on the new trophy wife um Apparently, she got married to him and her husband in a week. Um, and yeah, that's, you know. Mm, I don't know what to say. I am disturbed and perturbed. <sighs> Down in the comment section below, y'all say how y'all feel. I know this is probably... The trigger for a lot of 
women and or whoever has dealt with something like this. Um, but just let me know how you feel, man. Down in the comment section below. Um, sorry to have a low vibration in this video, but it is important to speak about certain things that we're having a hard time dealing with because shit, you might let something out or let, you might be able to deal with whatever it is you're going through, realizing that other people are going through it, you know, or even if y'all could put down in the comments what's something you did to get through it, you know? So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.